Check it out, folks. It's that time of the year, right? So listen, we finna get into that barbecue season, right? So listen, I'm gonna start it off with something super simple. You know what I mean? Very, very forgiving. Listen, the learning curve on these pork butts is gonna be great. And guess what? This video is sponsored by Porter Road. So listen, the first thing we're gonna do before we even go over the ingredients is, I'm gonna be using my pellet grill today. So this is, makes it even, it doesn't get no easier than this, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hit my power button. I'm gonna lower my temperature down to 250 degrees, and that'll be 250 is what we're gonna be cooking these pork butts at, right? I said pork butts, but it's gonna be pork butt. Okay, folks, so look, let's just do a quick, brief flyby over the ingredients, right? So obviously I got some yellow mustard. I'll be using my beef seasoning right here. This right here is great on pork butt, but I'm gonna do a combo. That and my barbecue rub we're gonna put on here. We're gonna use the yellow, uh, yellow mustard as a binder just to put it on there. We'll talk about that more in just a second, but I want you guys to pay attention to this right here. Listen, this is what I gotten from, you know, Porter Road. If you guys wanna know how I order all of my proteins, I do it everything through Porter Road. Listen, very, very high quality. I know this is a sponsored video, but I gotta say this. You guys know that I like their products because I'm always talking about that applewood, you know, uh, beef bacon. Hands down, that just changes the game. And if you look at the quality of the meat, this is a bone in. I'll put my finger on it right here. Look, I'm rubbing it. This right here is the bone-in, you know, pork butt. Let's turn it over on the other side. We can look at it. I'm not gonna be doing no trimming. Obviously, I'm gonna take this little piece off right here, but if you look at it, look at the quality of it. Look right there, look at the marbling. This right here is gonna be nice, folks. Now look, one of the things I wanted to really cover here is just to show you guys, look at, look at this pork butt right here. Look at this size, and then I'm gonna move it over here and look at that side. Listen, they have some smaller ones like this. This is great for like a smaller family. You know what I mean? You won't render down, because this right here, I call this the party size. But this right here is how you get it sealed up like this in a box. My box got damaged. That's why I did, you know, I haven't shown it. You know what I mean? So it was damaged when it came, but I can tell you it comes like this, nice and cold, dry ice. I'm not finna over talk. Let's go. So listen, if you guys go ahead and click the link below, you'll get 15% off of your first order, right? And check it out, look at what it says. If you go to porterroad.com slash porkbuttwitab, and that's W-I-T-A-B, just like it is in the name. All right, so listen, this is here, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start on the, this side right here, but when we cook it, when we put it in a smoker, we wanna put it here with the fat side up, right? So I'm gonna start here, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean my gloves, and then we're gonna go ahead and season. But I'm gonna start using by using my, we gotta have a binder, right? You don't have to have a binder. I know binder is better if you wanna get a lot of coverage, so you wanna get your rub on the top, right? So this is what we're gonna do. Just go ahead and give yourself just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot, that's enough. Gotta do all of the bottom and the sides too, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and use my left hand, right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and massage this all over, right? Again, this is a binder. If you guys want to go ahead and use a, uh, you can use W sauce. I got some videos where I've done that with W sauce. <clears throat> I've been in a pinch before where I didn't even have that. And I used uh, what I used to spritz. So I used the apple cider uh, mix, right? So look at that right there. You can see the covers. Don't need a whole lot, folks. Just a little bit. Now, I'm going to take my dry hand and we're going to open it up. I told you guys I'm going to be using my B rub and my barbecue rub, right? We're going to do a combination. Now, when it comes time to putting the, you know, putting your rub on there, I like to get it on here, folks. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let the camera come in here and get real close on it. So I want you guys to just see what I do. So now, watch this. Look at this right here. Now I come with my barbecue rub. Here it is right here. And we just start adding a little bit of this on the top. Okay, so look, now we turn it over and look, this is the other, the other part of it. This is the part that has the fat on it, right? So I have a meat slicer right here. My meat slicer, you guys might wanna pick yourself one of these because we finna get down, it's barbecue season, right? What we wanna do is we wanna score. So when I say score, I just cut these little lines in it like this, only where the fat is at, right? This helps this meat render, gives it a little space, and it allows for a little bit of this seasoning to get down in there, right? So we just do it like that. You can see this right here is sharp. I'm just looking at this, yep. Then I'm gonna come across it. I'm gonna bring it down here because we got some fat. 
Now this is typical, and this is a good, this is good quality meat, right? Now I don't know about you guys, I don't know if it's ever been difficult for you to get good quality meat, but for me, Porter Road makes it so convenient. You know what I mean? I can get it right to my door. Uh, it just, everything about it. And the fact that I'm getting exactly what I want, you know what I mean? Uh, Sometimes it exceeds my expectations. You know what I mean? This right here is the way to go. Porter Road is an online butcher shop that delivers high quality meat directly to your door. That there you can't beat. Now listen, they make ordering really, really easy, right? You can shop like you would at your local butcher by ordering, you know, items a la carte. They also offer subscription, steaks, chops, and all of that arrive fresh and never frozen. And how does that work? Well, you know, me running a food channel, I can't always get what I need. And then when I do get it, sometimes it seems like it looks like it's secondhand. So Porter Road has pulled me out of the creek about 100,000 times. Now, Porter Road offers a wide variety of dry aged beef, pork, and chicken, including rare butcher cut. Now, here's a cool little fact about myself, you guys. Listen, I come from a farming family. You guys didn't know that. Listen, and so what I like about Porter Road is they work with trusted local farmers who raise animals the right way, humanely, on the pastures, with no added hormones or antibiotics. That's the way I was raised. So listen, that's why I trust Porter Road. Okay, folks, so after I got it all completely rubbed down and all of that, listen, now it's time to go over here. I look at my uh, smoker. I'm looking at it right now. Listen, it's telling me it's at 250 degrees, right? So I'm gonna take these off. So now we're finna put this in. Now I'm gonna open this up. Now, just for the sake of me doing a, uh, a video, right? I don't like to leave, if I wasn't doing a video, I, anytime I'm smoking or opening the lid or anything, I don't like to just have it open, but I can because my pellet grill will keep my temperature. See that smoke? That's the flavor. Now, I've already told you guys, I'm gonna put it in with the, you know, with the fat cap up at the top. Now, I'm gonna set it right here. The bone that I can feel is facing that way. Now, I'm gonna close it. And we finna let it work. Now, we probably gonna go for a minimum of a pork butt that size. We probably gonna go for a minimum of about four hours. So I'm gonna set a timer, take a look at it after about an hour and a half, and then we are gonna keep checking on it, but I'll see you then. Okay, folks, look, so my timer went off. Listen, we finna take a look at it for the first time, right? Now, what I have in my hand right here, this is what I call, this is my spritz bottle. Spritz meaning we just gonna spray on the, you know, protein that's inside. Obviously, we got a, a pork butt, right? So if you wanna know what this mixture is right here, this is just one part, you know, apple cider, the other part water, right? It's really just for the moisture. So let's take a look. Look at that right there. Nice, it's coming along. Now, you see right here, I can touch it right here with my finger. I can feel that it. it's kind of setting. It's not wiping off none of the seat, you know, the rub that I put on there. So what I like to do is I like to keep it, you know, moist, right? So we just spray it here. Now notice I'm not spraying nothing on the top. Why? Because I don't want to have to get anything that's like pooling on the top or nothing. If it's pooling, and then I would like lift it and pour it, you know, let it run off. So therefore, we don't want to have that problem. So what we do is we just spray, just like you see right here. Okay, so listen, the first hour and a half is in. Now I'm not going to look at it or mess with it no more for another hour and a half. But I can tell you just from experience, usually around four hours is what it needs before we go to the next stage. And you know what stage that is? That's the wrap stage. Okay, folks, look, now I'm finna give up the pro tip, right? If you live in a concrete jungle, we usually talk like this. I'm finna give up a gym, right? So check it out. Listen, I got a pair of cotton cut resist, resistant gloves. Now listen, inside of this is woven, you know, some material, whatever, to help keep the blade from like going through, you know what I mean? So this is an added layer of uh, protection. Then I put my latex gloves right on top, right? So this will allow me to be able to pick up the meat, move it around, right? So put that on like that. Some of y'all right now are saying, ah, that's how he do it. Now you know. Okay, so listen, we on our second half of the hour and a half, right? So we finna take a look. I haven't peeked at it or done anything with it, so now we are gonna look at it, right? So, look at that right there. Ooh wee. Now, remember I showed you guys before, I like to run my finger across it just to make sure everything is set. That's how I check my bark, right? So nothing's coming off. This is looking amazing, folks. So listen, got my spritz bottle. Don't forget, one part, one part. Water, apple cider, right? So we don't want to spray the top. I just spray the sides. And I'll leave it like that. You see that looking nice and moist? Now, remember I just set this up, right? So I should be able to pick this up without burning my hand. What I'm gonna do is pick it up and rotate it. 
right? So now we're gonna look at the back side of it. But I'm gonna let you marvel at that right there. Look at that right there. And that's where Porter Rose gives you just quality meat. Okay, so let me show you guys this. Let's look and see where it's at right now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in there like that. We at 140. I'm looking to go to about 170. I don't wanna hit the bone, right? So I'm just finding me a spot where I can get down, look, down into the meat. So about 140 is right. We see 139.1 degree, 138, no problem. I'm gonna leave this on here. We're gonna leave it just like that. We're not gonna touch it. And I'm gonna go another hour and a half. Each individual piece of meat is different, folks. I know you guys like watch these videos and you want everybody to tell you, oh, in two hours, it'll be ready. You know how I know it's gonna be ready? Check it out. Okay, folks, so listen. It's been about six and a half hours, to be honest with you, right? So let's open this up. Look at that right there. Look at that color. That's what we're looking for, right? So now, I told you guys, you're not going to be able to understand when... I don't know, some of us can look at it, some of us can't. But listen, I'm going to be using my meat thermometer. Look, I'm looking for like one, uh, 165, 170. No higher really than 170, right? So when I stick this in here and I get down here, in this, down here, look, that's 163. Okay, we come down here. This is 172. Over here. 171.0 oh, 0. so I'm going to tell you this is really ready to come off and another sure way you can get, take a look at it remember this was the fat cat where we scored you can see it kind of like has that checkerboard feeling I mean look to it look when I push this down like this oh it just kind of like tears you know what I mean uh, look it's so juicy oh yeah that right there that's it alright so we have it here, right? So all I'm gonna do is, I kinda like double layered it. I'm gonna set it here. And then what I wanna do is just wrap it as tight as I can. I see it squirting back at me. You know what I mean? Uh, this is, man, when I tell you it's juicy, this is gonna be it. So I'll bring this around like this. All right, and then I'll take this and just fold this up. All right, once you got it completely sealed, you want to have it, you want it to be nice and tight because what we want to do is bring it back up to temp and we're going to let the heat stay right inside of that. And this is how we're going to get it real tender, folks. So I take this, put this right here, close that. And now I'm going to be looking for like 203, 204, you know what I mean? Uh, anywhere, that's as far as I like to go. Cause don't forget it's going, as it's resting, it's going to rise up a little bit and then it'll rest. Then we probably going to rest it for about an hour, hour and a half anyway. Okay folks, listen, now that I'm took it, taking it out of the smoker, I want to show you something. Listen, I told you we wanted to reach uh, 203 degrees or somewhere right around 200 would have been fine. Now that I have it out, you can see I got a bunch of holes, right? Listen, I don't know, it's not no way I can show this, but when I drop this in here like that, here, I'll just bring this around like this. And there you can see the temperature, right? 203. It's going to constantly rise just a little bit till it gets to about 305. You know what I mean? So I check it in several places. That's why you guys saw those holes, right? So when you ask me, like, what's the time on it? I don't really know the time, folks. My meat thermometer, that tells me when it's ready. So listen, I can tell you this, though. We've been going for about, I don't know. We've probably been going at 250 degrees. We've probably been going about, I don't know. It's about, about eight eight to ten hours you know what i mean but this right here is right right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let it rest i'm gonna let this rest for one hour then we're gonna come back and then it should be hot enough i mean cool down enough so that i can go ahead and you know pull that bone out hopefully okay so listen it's been an hour you know what i mean an hour and a half works even better but this is an hour so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn this around like this and what we're gonna do now is just open this up now if you pay attention i'm trying to keep all of my juices and everything inside this pan. That's why I open it up this way. You know what I mean? Because that's going to be essential. And you'll see why in just one second. Like I said, it's been an hour, right? Now, you know about this bone, right? They always say if this bone pulls out. But I can see the pullback. So, I'm going to just take it like this. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get it. And then I'm just going to pull this out just like this. I kind of like got a piece of the bone. I'm trying to keep the meat. But if you look, if I just pull it like this, kind of do like that. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do no fancy tricks. And this right here, stuck to the bone. It was really like the, the cut of the meat, right? And that, I want to get it all. This is all flavor, folks. And then if you want to take a look at the meat, you can see the color and the smoke, how it penetrated. That right there is right, right? So if I just take it like this, look how it just breaks up. Oh, I know, folks. That's what you want to have. That right there. 
And plus, when you start with, you know, quality meat, as we did right here with this Porter Road, you know, pork butt, this right here, oh, man. Not mushy, cooked to perfection. Mm. Somebody get me a bun. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a couple of these. You know what I mean? Uh, pulled pork sliders are kind of like traditional, you know, when you're making it. You know, when you're making pulled pork, that's kind of like what everybody makes. For me, I can sit down with it on the side with some uh, barbecue baked beans and some, uh, you know, some potato salad and then just get down. Right now, if it seems like I'm like at a loss of words, I kind of like am, you know what I mean? Because this came out great. And then if you guys like a little coleslaw, I got a little coleslaw to put on the top right here. And we'll put that bun on there. Ooh. Nothing like a little slaw on the top too. Right? Maybe I'll put just a little bit more. Let me just go ahead and put this top on. And that there. Ooh, tell me you wouldn't want one of those. Okay, so listen, you seen these beauties that I made right here. Look, these pool pork sliders are just right. It's really about this butt right here. You know what I mean? Uh, just keeping it real, just getting quality premium meats delivered to your door. You know what I mean? You don't have any issues. And if you guys use that link right below me, you know, right here, listen, you'll get 15% off of your first order. I tell you right now, I have never steered you guys wrong. Please try Porter Road. With that being said, check it out. Mm. This right here is it, folks. Hey, hands down, I can't say enough about it. I want you guys to try it. You know what I mean? Uh, come back, talk to me down in the comment section below. So check this out. If you're new, you know what to do. You gotta like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna go sit down and watch some TV, so I'm out. Peace.